2017, we saw something pretty spectacular and very unexpected when the fight with you and Conor McGregor was announced. Why did you fight Conor McGregor? Because I'm a, bus I'm a businessman at the end of the day. And, and I'm, I'm very, very, like I said before, Shh. I believe in working smarter, not harder. So at the end of the day, I am a businessman. So if I'm, so if I'm, I'm sitting at home like this, and I said, you know what? I know I made 300 million with Pacquiao. So I said, you know what? I said this to myself. I may can make another 300 million. It's possible. So I said, you know what I'm gonna do? Um, I spoke with my friend, uh, my best friend, um, James McNair, the guy who set this tour up. I spoke with him and I said, I think the, um, the McGregor fight can happen. And then um, I called Al Heyman. Al Heyman said, are you sure, Floyd? I said, I think we own to something. So then the day of the fight, I woke up feeling good. I woke up, my chef cooked me a big breakfast. I was sitting, betting. I said, yo, go bet some money on the football, I mean, on the basketball game. I probably was betting on basketball or on a basketball game, betting money, sitting back in my house, in my silk pajamas. I was like, you know what? It feels so good to set up, because I just, I just call it entertainment, just to set up to, to drive down the street eight miles and pick up $350 million in 28 minutes. If, 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 I can do, if I can do that again, am I gonna do it again? Absolutely. Because I'm a businessman and I'm smart. Floyd, last November you posted a picture on your Instagram, pictured with Dana White from the UFC. Yes. Saying that something spectacular is coming for 2020. What is that? Um, like I said before, I'm retired, but I'm still not retired from getting a couple dollars. So, I mean, it's crazy. You guys hear certain things like Floyd need money. I mean, I don't need nothing, but I don't mind making some more money. Um, it's, it, there's no different from when you got billion, billionaire guys that own airlines, like the guy who owned United or the guy, you know, different guys that own billionaires that make, Apple still making billions, Apple still making money. When Apple went out and made billions of dollars, they didn't say, you know what, we already made three or four billion, now we're gonna stop. They keep on making more billions. So if I'm able to entertain the world and have some fun, and, and this easy entertainment, and I can make 600 million with two guys, why not? <laughs> Are we going to see Floyd Mayweather and Khabib? Yes, the one. Um, somebody said they hope not. At the end of the day, when that bank account, when that, when that wire come, my kids gonna be like, Dad, I'm proud of you. <laughs> so, I, I, I talked about this earlier. You must, self-preservation comes first. I must take care of my home first. And I believe in creating generational wealth. So if I can go get 600 more million, invest it, and leave it to my children and my grandchildren and my loved ones, why not? Is that a yes? Absolutely.